We are back yet again with another video on Octo Everywhere, but this is a pretty exciting one because now they support Clipper firmware. Hello everybody, Chris here, and yes, we're back again with another video on Octo Everywhere because it just keeps getting better. Now, if you don't know what Octo Everywhere is, it's a cloud service you can use to remotely monitor your 3D printer via an OctoPrint instance. Again, you can monitor it from pretty much anywhere that you are, it has all kinds of different features like notifications for pretty much any platform, video monitoring, as well as some AI built in to help you detect failed prints. Now, if you use Octo Everywhere in a limited capacity, it is completely free. I'll say it again, free. Now, there are some paid for tiers to help you monitor multiple 3D printers, as well as do some more of the cloud intensive service items like continuous video monitoring. Now, I use Octo everywhere, anywhere that I can. Any place I have a 3D printer that's hooked up to OctoPrint, I go ahead and install Octo everywhere just because of all the different features it enables. Like it sends me an email anytime a print is finished or something bad happened to the 3D printer. Up until now, we were focused on OctoPrint, hence the name Octo everywhere. But now we have Clipper support, which means you can monitor mainsail, OctoPrint, or fluid directly from Octo Everywhere. And that's what we're gonna take a look at today. There are a few commands you have to run to get this up and running. So it's definitely worth a video for us to walk through how to get all this set up. But this is gonna add a lot of functionality to a lot of different 3D printing users because a lot of us wanna run Clipper now and we could use some remote monitoring via this service. So let's not waste any time. Let's jump right into it and see how we're gonna get this set up to monitor our Clipper mainsail instance. Let's go. So to get started, the easiest way is to just head over to octoeverywhere.com and go to your dashboard. Now, if you're not already a user, you can create an account really quickly. You just need a couple of things and you'll be up and running. But you can see the banner up here. They now are, have full support for Clipper, mainsail, fluid, moonraker, all that good stuff to make your Clipper install work. So we're just gonna try it now. It takes us over to the page. We can get it set up in under 20 seconds. So let's just continue on. Here we have to prepare for launch. These are the steps that I wanted to walk you through because setting up the Clipper plugin is just gonna be a little bit different than using OctoPrint. We will need to run this shell script right here to get all this to work. Now our switch wire is already up and running with a Raspberry Pi and running Clipper, but anywhere you have a Clipper install, Wherever that Linux machine is installed, no matter if it's on a different device, log in SSH and you can run this command. So anyone familiar with Clipper, I'm gonna use the PuTTY tool to get in SSH and run the command on my machine. The IP of my printer is 1.180, so I'll just open it up, log in with your credentials, and then you can just paste in, if you're using PuTTY, you right click that command to get Octo Everywhere set up. It's going to download a shell script and it's going to ask you a few questions. You do need to re-enter your pseudo password. It should be the same as your login password. It's going to do some updates and download a few packages while it does its install. Now, once the install is close to complete, it's going to give you a printer ID and you have to go back to the website to enter a code. So you just take this right here. You can highlight it. That will copy it. We'll head back to our browser. We'll just open a new one and paste that in. And then enter the code that it says in PuTTY, in SSH, right here. We'll copy that back to the browser and paste it. Submit code. We'll enter the name for the printer we just added. We'll just call this switch wire so we know which one it is and finish setup. Printer leak has been established. And there's our Voron switch wire. Now I don't currently have a camera plugged in, but let me go ahead and plug one in just so we can try that feature as well. Also, if you go back to your putty tool SSH, it will confirm after you complete that step on the browser that it has been completed. So everything from here, you can control from Octo Everywhere or Mainsail or Fluid, whichever one you have. They'll both work. Now we have our camera plugged in. We can see a quick snapshot of our switch wire printer. 
And if you've ever used this before, all the features are going to be there. We can do a quick view, gives you some quick stats about what's going on with the printer, as well as the snapshot and a larger frame. Remember, you do all this from the Octo Everywhere site, so you can do this anywhere you go, on your phone, any other device. You don't have to be on the same network. And then from here, you can also go straight to Clipper. Again, this is remote. You don't have to be on the same network. It's going to take you straight to Mainsail, where you can control the printer from wherever you go. Before, this wasn't ever possible without doing some very tricky networking that might not be secure. This is completely secure and a very handy feature for anyone running a 3D printer. Everything from here is exactly like you would expect it from Mainsail or Fluid. It runs exactly the same, only it opens up to remote access and you can use all the notification features at this point. You have all the different instant printer notifications. This applies to your whole account. It will tell you all kinds of different things about your printer via whatever service that you'd like to use. I mainly just stick with email. You have the option for shared connections. You can share this connection with a friend so they can monitor your 3D printer. You can also share it with third-party applications. Like if you want to use something like Octodroid on your phone, you can do that here, share all of it so you can access it for whichever application you wish. And don't forget about Gadget. He's your AI helper. He's going to try to determine if you have a problem with your print, like he sees spaghetti or a failed print. It works fairly well. I could probably do a whole video on how Gadget works, but it is very helpful to try to help you monitor your print. And one other feature that I like to use on occasion is live links. You can link your stream of your 3D printer to a link that will expire at whatever duration you wish. That way you can share it on Twitter if you want to show what you're printing live right there from Octo Everywhere. It gives everyone access to the stream so they can see what you're up to. Remember, there is a free tier of Octo Everywhere so everyone can give it a try, but also the more you pay, the more features you get. It gives you a great rundown of what you get with all the different tiers, all the way up to elite support. It's definitely a project worth your time to give them a little love. This is completely driven by the community. So as you can see, it took almost no time to get our Clipper-based 3D printer up and running with Octo Everywhere. You can use Mainsail or Fluid, doesn't really matter. But now that it's set up, you can go anywhere and use it just like you were on your own network at home. But I don't want to stop there. Let's go ahead and use the Octo Everywhere workflow, get a print started, and then maybe we'll give Gadget a try see how well it can detect a failed print. Let's check it out. So I'm just gonna start back at my Octo Everywhere home screen. We'll just go to a quick view of the printer and let's just go ahead and go to Clipper. Inside Clipper, go ahead and make note, we are on the switchwire.octoeverywhere.com. That is just for my 3D printer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kick off a print. So we're off and printing our test cube. We'll let that print for a minute. Back to the Octo Everywhere dashboard, it's keeping track of the print successfully. We have almost two hours on this print time. And I have a little higher tier, I believe mine costs around $3 a month, but I do get quite a few frames of live web view. And Gadget so far says we're looking great. We'll see if we can fix that, but again, we'll come back here in a moment. So we've been printing for a little while. Everything's working as expected through the Octo Everywhere site. You can see it here in the main preview. Main sales working as expected. Gadget says everything is looking great. Well, what if we change that? I purposely sliced this one and set the Z offset so that it could easily be lifted off of the build plate. It has been released. Let's see what Gadget has to say about that. So I let it print a couple of minutes while the print was still on the bed. It is making some spaghetti, but it's still able to stick it. And finally, monitoring possible issue comes up. It does take it a little bit, and it's pretty drastic. I have completely unstuck the print, but I think it's going to go ahead and say we might have a problem here. Ganton has gone back and forth to saying there might be a problem to looking good, so it's definitely not completely aware of how the print is failing. It probably sees the spaghetti, but that's about it. Let's just go ahead and clear it and see what happens. After we cleared it, it can definitely see the spaghetti. Gadget says there's a possible issue. 
we got upgraded to there probably is an issue and I am starting to get alerts in my mailbox. You can see it sends you an email letting you know, hey, here's a snapshot, you have a problem. So we're able to monitor and control our 3D printer and do everything we need to do remotely from the Octo Everywhere site, including monitor it and get notifications, and Gadget is there to try and help us. Now the next question is, can you do multiple instances of Clipper with Octo Everywhere and view them all? Yes, you can. And the easiest way to do multiple Clipper installs is with Kaya. And if you're to the point where you want to install multiple Clipper installs on the same Raspberry Pi or device and use Octo Everywhere, you're probably more than familiar with Kaya by now. But you can go ahead and grab it to use it from GitHub and then just run the Kaya script. Kaya is already going to know that Octo Everywhere is installed because they have gone to great lengths to work with all the developers involved, including Moonraker and Clipper. So you can do it all from this one menu. When you want to set up a multi-install, when you're installing Clipper for the first time, all you would have to do is do the install menu, go into the Clipper menu and tell it how many instances you want to run. Then you can come back and use Octo Everywhere, install that on each one of those instances. It's going to give you a code for each, and then you can plug them right into the Octo Everywhere site, just like we did before. And I've never really done a Kaya specific tutorial here on the channel, but once you've run through it, it is really easy to do multiple Clipper installs right there in the tool. And Octo Everywhere is alongside it because they have worked with all the parties involved and now you can monitor all of those instances remotely. So you have the ability to do Octo Print instances as well as Fluid, Mainsail, and Octo Print Clipper installs. That's pretty awesome. And remember, Octo Everywhere does have a free option. And it's very secure, so you might as well go ahead and give it a try. I use it wherever I can. I think it's one of the best plugins in 3D printing, if you have multiple 3D printers, that you can have right up there with Mainsail Fluid and Octoprint. So hopefully you found this helpful. That is it for today, and I'll see you really soon on the next one.